Welcome to Bunbury and the Dolphin Discovery Centre. We are here in the southwest of Western Australia. My name is Axel, I'm one of the volunteers. Uh, we are an environmental charity, guys. And with me is uh, Levi and Bella, two of our wild bottlenose dolphins. Our main job is really, hello, you want to say hello to the world? Good job, guys. Our job is conservation, education and research. And part of conservation work is the rescue of cetaceans. That's whales, dolphins and porpoises. And sadly, only one week ago, we had uh, four Greysbeak whales stranded here. And this video is about their rescue. Initially, this was actually reported to us as a dolphin stranding. Uh, however, our conservation manager, Jan, who went uh, to the scene first, discovered very quickly that these were actually four Greysbeak whales, a small whale species that rather lives offshore. The four whales were beached or stranded on a local reef that was really close to the shoreline and the locals who discovered them jumped into action straight away and managed to rescue the first three whales by lifting them off the reef and refloat them in the deeper water which was absolutely amazing. Within an hour of the call coming in, the rest of our rescue team uh, also responded and was already on scene. They brought in the rescue trailer that carries vital rescue equipment that helps us with the strandings and the beached animals. Over the next few hours, the teams from the Parks and Wildlife Rangers, a vet, whale experts, the dolphin rescue team, as well as the locals, try to hold the animal up using our rescue equipment. That was incredibly hard to deal with. Now, sadly, the whale's condition kept deteriorating over hours. And while it was looked after wonderfully by the volunteers and the staff of all the teams by holding it up, covering it, keeping it cool with water, and using all the rescue equipment that we have on site, um, it was determined that the animal wouldn't be able to survive and sadly the outcome of that was that it had to be euthanized. A necropsy will be performed to make sure we know exactly why the animal was so poorly, uh, what sickness it had, just to avoid any issues like that again in the future. Responding to whale and dolphin strandings and beachings is one of the vital parts that we at the Dolphin Discovery Center do and it will always be our first priority to look after our wildlife. We obviously would have loved an even better outcome where all four whales could have been rescued but having three out of four whales rescued and still alive swimming strongly north is a fantastic outcome and that's thanks to the locals that intervened early on all rescue uh, teams that were involved uh, so thanks again to everyone to make this happen uh, for more information have a look in our description especially about strandings uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching it and thanks for watching see you again soon